we're exploring the length and breadth of Zanzibar, so be sure to check out our other videos on the other parts of the island, south, north, and even Stone Town. Like and subscribe, and check out our overview video on Zanzibar if you want quick snippets of what to do when you're on the island. We're in Stone Town, it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Join us as we explore each chapter of its history on foot. So having driven here from Nungui, we had to find parking uh, for the rental vehicle and we managed to do so. Um, because it's the weekend, we managed to get parking outside one of the hotels. One of the security guards was kind enough to organize it for us. So that's one of the options if you're driving from out of Stone Town into Stone Town. Find some parking and walk on foot for the rest of the day. This is the old fort in the 1500s. It was erected by the Portuguese and used as a chapel. And then around about the 1700s, the Zanzibaris assisted the Omanis in conquering the Portuguese. And this was used then as a fort. The ruins are very, very special. Stone Town is full of art and culture and that is why this amphitheatre was built in the 1990s. This particular amphitheatre hosts the Zanzibar International Film Festival and several other music festivals. Stone Town, you can visit Emerson Spice and take a walk up to the rooftop to get panoramic views of the city from above. Let us show you around Darjani Spice Market. It's the oldest market in Zanzibar and the first point of trading, or formalized trading rather, in East Africa. 
and it's a hub for commerce in the region. We're at the Dajani Spice Market, stocking up on some organic spices. Nothing more authentic than this in Zanzibar, really. Be sure to check out the Dajani Spice Market. It's to be dried and salted octopus and fish. This is where all the fresh fish is filleted and cleaned or sold as whole. Every single type of fish that you can think of that you can find on the island you'll find here. Spices everywhere <laughs> at Dajani Market. So yes, we're stocking up on some more. We even found some Zanzibar roasted coffee. An absolute must do in Stone Town is to walk the streets and experience all the street food. We found this little spot called Umi Irojo and we're having the famous and much talked about Zanzibar mix. It should be a mixture of the beef and the falafel and potato chili bites with a gravy or a soup. It really is a truly cultural and local experience. So here's the Zanzibar mix and we're going to eat it in the shop. That looks really good. We can put some tamarind, chili sauce and other compliments but wow. After walking for a few hours, I think this is going to go down well. We're also going to try this. Looks like a cross between a chapati and a naan. And this was 1000 Tanzanian shillings. Looks so good. So that light lunch, the Zanzibar mix and the chapati was about 4000 Tanzanian shillings. <laughs> That's uh, not even a dollar fifty, I'd imagine. So, for light lunch, that was pretty good. <laughs> Wherever you walk in Stone Town, you'll find the most beautiful doors with so much symbolic history. This is in and of itself an attraction. You can even find gelato on the streets of Stone Town. So instead of finding food, we found gelato. This is a very interesting flavor. It's the baobab flavor. And in and around Zanzibar, the fruits of the baobab is sold as confectionery. It's either cooked and then added with some red coloring and sugar, or it's sold as is as confectionery. This is extremely delicious. And if you're able to 
find gelato on the streets of Stone Town, be sure to try the Baobab flavor. Amazing gelato can be found here in Stone Town. Across this establishment, it's near the Darjani Street where the main Darjani market is. It appears to be more local than some of the other establishments in and around the hotels and we're going to try a savory and a sweet treat and really taste the culture of stone tile here we have a sweet bread a vegetable samosa and a beef kebab just a little bit of everything This is called Cafe Blue. We're going to try some fresh hibiscus juice and orange cake. So be sure to check out these local establishments. Not a lot of tourists come here and you can get a real feel for the area. It's situated near the Dajani market. Prices are super reasonable. Are you looking forward to the hibiscus juice? Yes, very excited. <laughs> we made hibiscus juice with ginger and mint and orange cake, which is actually being inspired by the French, apparently. We're going to enter this building, it's the old customs building and it's used by up and coming musicians to practice which you might hear in the background but let's see inside. This customs building was owned by one of the richest people in Zanzibar and according to the information boards typical of an Omani type building. Apparently the British added balconies to the outside and exterior of the balcony later on. There's an art exhibition within the customs building. And this continues through the various stories of this building.
Behind me is the Foradani food market. It's about 5.30 early evening. All the vendors are still setting up, but you can already have, smell all the aromas. And we've already started to choose what we're going to be eating. Tonight it's going to be absolutely special. This part of Foradani Park is where all the gymnasts practice at sunset. So if you're looking for a free show and to see local gymnasts ply their trade, have a look here. Food market is starting to take shape now. It's almost seven o'clock in the evening. And we prioritize the Zanzibar pizza, which we've ordered now. Four thousand Tanzanian shillings for that, or about two dollars. Zanzibar pizza has been prepared. Famous Zanzibar pizza. Beef, onions, with a very nice crusty dough and some mango ketchup on the side and tomato and salsa. Looks really good. Plumber places abound at the food market. We found this place, really fresh chicken and we've asked him to put the works on it. Shawarma has got all the goodness inside. From this place, it's a tandoori place and they prepare everything on the barbecue. We specifically having the tandoori lobster with coconut bread. Bread, tandoori lobster and some Zanzibari salsa. It looks like curry, coriander and onion. First time having a tandoori lobster and coconut bread. This was a bit more on the pricier side at the market, a total of 18,000 shillings. Here we're going to delve more into the tandoori cuisine. We're going to have a tandoori chicken drumstick and a chicken skewer. This is the annual seafood. We make everything fresh. For, for seafood, we have fish nuggets, we have calamari, we have prawns. Then about chicken, we have Kentucky fried chicken, fried chicken breast. And then we have origin gypsy, I mean bench fry. And we have vegetable tempura, a full package for vegetarian who don't like seafood, chicken and meat. So we prepare a package of vegetables which include zucchini, okra and potato. And then we have tempura potato, the sliced potato dip in tempura dough, then fried. And then we have vegetable spring rolls for vegetarian and then we have a dessert, Zanzibar sweet balls, kaimat, Zanzibar sweet balls, like a donut, yes it's sweet, very sweet with the cardamom syrup. Welcome Zanzibar, welcome for Zanzibar, welcome, this is Anno Seafood, yeah? Wow. Here's a tandoori chicken, so when you're at the Fodani food market you have to just sit anywhere and enjoy your food and interact with all the vendors. Chicken shawarmas are so good over here, we had to have more. This time supporting another vendor. Yep, two US dollars, 3,500 Tanzanian shillings for all this goodness.